Hey Explorers, so today I'm going to show you my new travel backpack. I had to get a new backpack because, well, the other one broke because I decided to put it in the dryer. Um, we'll wash it and dry it and the little anti-theft lock broke. Um, yeah, so I actually ended up reading a travel and leisure magazine article about different travel backpacks and I saw this one. Um, this particular brand and it was on sale at ebags.com. So I'm going to show you the bag um, Show you its features show you what I'm going to pack in it and then um, I'm going to take it on a test run. So at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how it did on my trips All right, I'm still on the floor y'all because I'm in packing mode and you know when you're packing sometimes stuff gets everywhere um, but here is my new um, Travel backpack It's smaller than what I'm used to and as you can see it's made by travel on um, unfortunately, it doesn't have a strap in the back to um, attach to your roll aboard, but hey, I'll just do like this. <laughs> Works for me. Um, so as you can see on the side, it has anti-theft locks. It has an anti-theft lock for this side pocket as well as when I zip this back up, that will go into the anti-theft lock as well. On the top portion, you have a couple different pockets here. So you have the big main pocket where you can put all your, whatever your crap, your books. For me, I'll have my camera books or whatever in here. Then you have another pocket, if you can see that down there. This is where you can slide your, your tablet or small laptop computer in to keep that in place. You also have a pocket that doesn't zip um, so put your portable charger in there um, and here's another pocket where you put your change, your makeup, whatever you want to put in there. There's also another pocket on the flap of this bag. On the side you have um, a water bottle holder which is excellent because if you're touring it's very important to have water especially if you're in a hotter climate but you should just have water anyway and I keep water, so I'm glad there's a pocket here. There's another pocket, um, it has mesh in here and some, you know, another little smaller pocket so you can put whatever you want in here. I wouldn't put water because this is now getting too close to your inside portions, um, but yeah, you can put, I mean, if you do put water in this hot bottle, yeah, that's fine, but um, you can put other things in this little pocket as you please. There's also a front pocket. Um, this pocket um, also has an anti-theft locking mechanism right here. Uh, so in here you have all types of things. You do have a credit card, special credit card holder in here. Um, and as you can see, it says protect your identity. It has RFID blocking, so no one can um, just um, swipe your information. And so you have that there. Um, and then you also have some other pockets to put like pins. Um, that's very important for international travel. Um, and you also have this. I don't even know what this is. It's like, it looks like a badge reel, but it's not. Oh, it's a little light. Yay. So, need to find something. Here you go. Here's a light. That is awesome. Make sure I don't put this in the dryer, right? <laughs> Um, and then of course you can put other things in this pocket. It's a nice size. As you can see, my hand goes in there. So here's my bag. I'm going to show you um, some things I'm going to put in the bag for this weekend. I'm um, going to tell you some other things that I put in the bag um, when I travel. And then I'm going to take it on two test runs. I'm going to my hometown um, for a quick weekend trip. So I'm not taking like my typical tourist um, uh, items, but or traveler items, as you should say. Um, and then, and following week, I am going to Vegas. So I'll have more of my travel gear in here. So I'm gonna have two different trips, and then I'm gonna come back at the, in this video and tell you how this bag did, and if I liked it. Hopefully I did, because I gave my broken bag to my mom. She doesn't try. All right, you guys, here is my loading dock for my carry-on bag, um, and 
I have some things here um, or other things I may carry with me that is not going to be recorded because this is for a quick weekend trip um, and I'm going to a wedding. So, but here are some things. I'm not taking my camera with me this weekend, but these are the bags that I will carry my camera in um, from the camera body to the lens um, to the batteries or any accessories that I might take with me. But I'm going to set that aside because I'm not carrying with me. And I will put that in the, the big part of the bag. Um, I also have vitamins because that's a healthy thing to do. Um, if you do take jewelry, I usually don't when I travel for safety reasons. But since it's a wedding, I figure I take some. Um, but if you do take jewelry, make sure you carry it on with you. Um, compression socks, I usually forget to put them on before leaving for the airport. Um, but this is very important for circulation. Um, and then these are so thin, so I always um, wear these athletic socks as well so I can have cushion um, under my feet. Fortunately, I'm getting old, um, so sometimes I cramp up, especially in my hip on the plane, so have anti-inflammatory and pain relievers. Headphones, I really need noise-canceling headphones. If you have some noise-canceling he uh, headsets and you love them and they're not bulky, please tell me in the comments. I also take, um, obviously, my wallet, um, which includes, you know, credit cards, money, stuff like that. And if I'm traveling outside of the country, I will have my passport as well and an ink pen. As I mentioned earlier, it's important for customs. I also must have my pillow. This pillow is awesome because it goes behind your head and it has an eye mask and this cute bag. Like, how awesome. I also love books, like hard books, you know, like they're just awesome, but they're bulky. So I only carry one um, with me. All right. Hey, explorers. So I've actually ended up taking three different trips with my new travel on book bag and I love it. I went to, like I said, um, the wedding in Ohio. Um, I went to Vegas and then I went um, to an event in L.A. Three very different trips. Um, I was able to, even though it was a smaller book bag, I was able to put in a small laptop in the bag. Um, I also was able to carry my camera. I was able to put my book in there. Uh, it's just so many compartments. I can put so many different things in there. So that's great. Um, I also like it since it was a little bit smaller, smaller it was um, lighter to carry on my back. And it fit comfortable. The straps were nice. It didn't irritate anything. And it fit really nice under the seat in front of me on the plane. Therefore, I still had room to put my feet next to the bag because it was smaller. I love it. Um, there's no issues. It hasn't broken or anything. And I can't wait to see what more it will do when I get into some international travel. So what type of travel book bag do you have? Um, Leave your suggestions in um, the comments. Have you ever used ebags.com? Because it worked out for my first time. Um, and do you have a travel on bag? Would you try this bag? What What do you like or dislike about this travel on bag? Leave it down below in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. And please, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, share with your friends and family, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're alerted for next week's video as a return to Los Angeles, California. Thank you so much again. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are.